Get off essentials here. So I got this vase from Hobby Lobby and it was on sale. But then I got home and realized that I needed something much bigger for the faux plant that I want to put inside. So then I decided to make my own using measurements that would give me what I want. Now I'm going to be using an empty box. Open it up and roll it. I will need a base, so I'll be using this measurement of my 10 inch mirror to draw out a circle for the base. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here! Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now that that is done, I'm going to be using a hot glue gun to attach both pieces together. I have an opening here, so I'm going to cover that up. I cut a board that is the same height with what I'm working on. And now I'm going to be drawing out lines with 1.2 inches apart because I want to be cutting out strips that I'll be using for the project. And the tips for all of the strips are going to be curved. Now I'm going to be attaching all of them using a staple gun. Now you're going to have to be really careful here by separating your fingers apart when you're holding it down to staple it. I'll be stapling the bottom part as well. Now I'm going to be applying hot glue at the top. To make the overall piece strong enough to decorate, I'll be cutting pieces from papers. And mixing school glue and water. Dipping in all of the strips one at a time and covering the whole thing up. For the curved part at the top, I used smaller pieces. When I was done, I let it dry for about 3 hours. These are wooden beads that I got online for $9.95 for 100 pieces and I need more than 100 pieces for what I'm about to make. So I got this from Walmart and it's $12.88 for a pack and they are beaded seat cushions for cars. And one pack alone has over 300 wooden beads. I'll be cutting out large pieces in straight lines to make it easy when I'll be attaching them. I used a hot glue gun to seal up all of the openings to prevent the beads from falling off.
it's been over three hours and this is dry now i did not sand this down in any way because it's going to be covered up with beads i'm just going to take it out and spray paint it silver to make it easy for me to see the surface that i'll be working on and now to easily attach the beads i'm going to be using a strong adhesive and what i'm using is an e6000 glue and a hot glue gun This is what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to be attaching the remaining beads and cutting it to fit the open spaces. After attaching all of the cutouts, this is the space that was left and these are the singular beads that are remaining. So I'm going to be attaching the singular beads to the spaces one at a time using a hot glue gun. I took it out and I spray painted it silver. Because the inside is kind of rough, I covered that up using a whiteboard. I put what I made side by side with what I got from Hobby Lobby and what I have now is exactly what I wanted. The 10 inch mirror that I used for the circle at the bottom can be placed at the top and used as a side table. Now I'm going to be doing this once in a while if I like. But then the main reason why I made this was to use it as a decorative flower pot. You can make this slimmer and used as a decorative vase. Speaking of vases, this is a stylish and decorative vase that I made some months ago and the link for this vase is going to be in the description box below. I just love the style and uniqueness of this flower pot and most of all, it's really large. I actually just used a box and beaded seat cushion to make this. And I have to say it again, that it stands out in a unique way. This will look so pretty in a patio or even the foyer area of the home. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other DIY videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.